Let's talk just a little bit about the 49ers schedule. Because Kyle Shanahan said their first practice is this week, or today, so they're practicing Tuesday. And here's kind of how he said they're going to handle this whole bye week and what days are off, what days are off. We'll, we'll have two days we practice real hard. Um, we'll probably have one day we just do like a, key, a team conditioning thing, not much football, but uh, we'll have two days we practice real hard. And so he said two days off, two days on, and so they're just going to kind of take it chill. Uh, two days off, two days on. That's kind of the thing they're going to be recycling. So two hard practices this week, one conditioning day. That's three practices in a seven-day period. That's four days off, Wayne. Look, the Niners earned it, though, right? So, like, this is a this is their bye week. Uh, they'll probably get back to the get backing, you know, come next week when they really know, you know, on Monday night who they have to face, right, to where they can start zeroing in on. But there's no one to really zero in on. And you talked about the art of war and dividing and conquering. That's what they're going to do. And so you don't want to practice, practice, and over-practice. But there's going to be two hard days on of practice for the San Francisco 49ers because, unfortunately, things happen in practice as well. Uh, things happen in practice as well. Sometimes they they're not they're not so good things. So, look, I think Kyle has the plan. He's Listen, guys. We finished the season 12 and 5, and we secured the first round in the playoffs. Uh, it's our first round, uh, you know, first seed in the playoffs. At this point, it's just trust Kyle and leave it at that. Like, that's where we leave it. Don't think we have to over practice to beat any of these teams uh, because at the end of the day, the 49ers, and I know, I, like, it, it comes off very cocky ish, but that's not what I mean. Like, you guys have watched the San Francisco 49ers, and if you go and watch all five of their losses, what did they do? They didn't execute properly and they felt they beat themselves literally yeah they, they was, just got to get out their own head i don't care what position it is get out your head shake stuff off and find a way to execute there we go there we go i i, I you take care of your stuff you know what i mean and that's kind of what you do shanahan was asked like man are you scouting all four possible opponents this week like what do you do uh as you wait because you just don't know and so here's Shanahan talking about what the coaching staff's assignments are and what they're going to be doing over wild card week. We'll dabble in it all. I mean, um, we got to do something with that stuff when we'll go crazy as coaches. But, you know, hopefully we'll find out by Sunday. I don't it's starting to hit me that I don't think we can officially find out to maybe Monday because I know there's a Monday, there's Monday night game. So that'll be a little bit different. Haven't gone through that. So we'll definitely plan for all the possibilities um, and have be halfway in on a bunch. And as soon as we get told, then we'll be 100 percent in. There we go. And so I've been part of coaching staffs in the playoffs, and you literally divide and conquer. Uh, this is where quality control coaches, QCs, we call them GAs in high school, right? You say, all right, Chapman and Wayne, you guys got Green Bay. You go, Steph and Johnny Dill, you guys got you know the Eagles, and you divide it up, and you make sure you got an offense, defense, special teams. Usually it takes a little bit less time, so special teams coaches can do two or more games or two or more teams, and you've already played most of these teams. Like That's huge. You haven't played the Packers, but you played the Rams twice, you played the Bucks, and you played the Eagles. So you don't throw away those things. Even the, like my scouting report episodes that Coach Cruz helps me with right here. Shout out to the man, Coach Cruz. Like We save that stuff. We go back and we edit and we add, but teams don't change a whole lot over the course of the season unless they're the Eagles and they just get horrid. But, yeah, so they're going to be halfway prepared. Does that give you an advantage, Wayne? Uh, I mean, especially if you beat them, right? You would think there that gives go. you at least a slight edge, you know? Um, and so for the 49ers, it's, 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 not, you know, it's not about being prepared. I think every week they're prepared. It's about Be them prepared. prepared. It's about them <laughs> executing, you know, and it's about how well they execute. And it's about being able to adapt if something doesn't go according to plan, right? And so have we seen that this season? Yup. Uh, but there have been times that we haven't seen it. So it's kind of like an inconsistent thing. Uh, but when you kind of have a one-up on a team uh, and you've beat them, uh, you know, you you pretty much kind of know what to do. It, it's more pressure on the other team to counter what they think that they're going to get for you. Now, for me, the only curveball or slight curveball is this Rams team 
And it's because it's a divisional matchup. And so, being that I know that the backups and the reserves were the team that won the game, God forbid, if anything was, you know, to happen to some of these Ram starters, we know that their backups could come in and they don't really slack off. And so, at the end, of, that's why I wanted to win this game. So, at the end of the day, that's the only game that could kind of go 50-50. But I think everything else for the San Francisco 49ers, uh, minus not ever playing the, the Packers and the Detroit Lions, those games are, are kind of like, you know, we don't really know what it's going to be like to play them right now. But you got to go back on some old film and look at those games and this year's film. And that's those are the ones you really got to plan for. But you don't got to worry about Detroit in the divisional round. So it's the Packers. It's the Packers. What do you see from the Packers? Does Kyle Shanahan own, own Mr. LaFleur? I say yes. Does he own Sean McVay? I say yes. But those are some tough teams he's going to have to kind of like face. Uh, but I think the Niners got the one up. So I, I'm not really worried about these teams. They are always prepared. It's about how well they execute the preparation. Yep, I'm with you there. I mean, if the 49ers play their game, they beat anybody in the NFL. Like I'm, I do believe they are the best team whenever they execute. You lost to the Ravens with five turnovers, and it was still way closer than five turnover game. You play a clean game there. I think you got to be all right. Nigel asks this question: What happens if the Lions and Cowboys win? Um, they would play the Eagles or Bucks. What day would that be? With the Eagles Bucks playing Monday night, if you're playing It'll one be of those. Sunday. It'd be guaranteed Sunday game. Guaranteed Sunday, guys. Guaranteed. Because they, um, they they need that extra day. And so the Niners would get an extra day. So it would even be more of a benefit. So this, this is great. Yeah, you're getting the advantage. In the NFL, since they've changed to the one seed only getting the bye week, they always reward the number one seed even more in the, wild, in the divisional Players. round. Yeah. So not only are you getting a full week of rest, you're getting extra day shorter for the opponent. And so you don't want the full 14 days off. You'd rather have 13 because then that would mean those teams are playing correct. six days. Days, correct. And that's where that's at. So I um, want to say, uh, RTP, what's up, Matthew? He says, great graphic. And then we had like a really cool kind of like a uh, whole thing talking about those helmets. We walked up. Yes. The that, that's what I was going to. Yo, I swear yeah. we walked on the moon, took the words right out my mouth. Get them I was going to ask you. Teams. I was right. I was going to ask you how much yeah, money, because they used to be a quarter, but how much money did you, you yeah. spend just trying to get the Niners helmet? Yeah. And they're in those little bubbles. And you pop they're in the open, little bubbles. Transparent, and then it's yeah. in there. Yeah. Uh, and 49er yeah. Jeff says they're called Hutch helmets. I did not know that. Didn't know that. I didn't I know that either. did not know that. Uh, hutch, Hutch, Hutch. Dude, Sorry. I love it. The 49ers Rush Podcast.